Oh. <clears throat> I'm trying to show uh, how to produce a micro bevel or a secondary bevel. Right now, I just finished um, using a kind of a worn 36 grit belt on a belt sander, and I got a burr, which <clears throat> If you know about sharpening, uh, delicate sharpening, burrs are actually not the most advanced way to sharpen. Um, it's kind of like the beginner way to sharpen. When you get a burr, it just means that on this side, which I don't know if you can see, but the burr is, so you saw how I just pushed it over, now it's back up, pushed it, you see how it moves, now I can flick it back up. Okay, so. This isn't the best way to sharpen, but this is the easiest way to sharpen on an axe. Axes are very forgiving. There's a ton of material, as you can see, a ton of material to uh, to screw up on. So you could always just take more back if your angle's messed up. <clears throat> um, so this is how I like to do it. I like to set the secondary bevel when there's a burr, just because it's so easy. Um, and I kind of wipe the burr off with what I'm doing. So let me try to set this up so it looks good when I try to do this for the camera. Okay, let's see if we can uh, show a micro bevel. So if I wanted to, should I turn this off or on? It's a headlamp on my head. <laughs> look at my fucking, oh, there's sawdust all over my, uh, my shitty walmart fucking slippers whatever they are okay so if you want to make i'm just going to turn this off for now if you want to make um an edge you want it you want the file to be flat with your edge basically so instead of like this you want it to be like that that's your primary bevel you're setting now when you're setting a secondary bevel all you're doing is tilting up a tiny bit so look how much i tilt up about that I'm doing a draw filing right now let's use the uh, okay so you see how everything is gone that used to be there almost let's see if we can keep going not using a lot of pressure it's very light pressure because this is the most delicate well it's not the most delicate but it's a very small um, piece of material that you're working on you can kind of see you can kind of see it now there's still a burr and I'm just transferring it to the other side now so let's see if I could get this to uh... this might not work out let's see Okay, we got it. Okay. Now you can see the burr again. Now, you see how it's flipped up like that? There's a little, but there's no bevel on this side. So now I'm going to set another bevel. So watch me tip it. Oh, wrong side. It's another thing I wanted to talk about. Um, you do not want to use the double cut side on the very edge of your um, of your blade. I don't know why, I don't know how to say that, but that's what came out. So you want to use your smooth cut side. So this is only one cut instead of like this where it goes one way and then the other way. So I almost messed that up. Good thing I caught that. <clears throat> Some people like to, uh, they don't like to do draw filing like this. Um, you can enter, you can go in between. Whatever makes a smoother cut is what you're looking for. I'm just looking at the reflection right now, and I'm looking to even it out the whole way through. Now my burr is a lot smaller, and once I switch to the other side, it I'm going to get a lot closer to what I want. Yeah, it's actually already pretty sharp, so. 
Now you wouldn't want to use it because you could you could damage the edge with the burr. That's why you want to get rid of the edge. It's kind of like um, leaving debris for a hurricane. You don't want to leave debris for a hurricane. You're, you, when you smash your axe into something, it's a lot of forces going on. So get everything out of the way. Put the chairs away. Put them in the shed. Uh, <laughs> what else? What else? Kind of. Okay, so the secondary bevel is a little lacking on this area, so now I'm just focusing on that one area. It doesn't need to be perfectly even. It's an axe. Um, it's never going to be perfect unless you're obsessive about it. And when it comes to a work axe, it doesn't need to be exactly perfect. It just needs to uh, be relatively uh, symmetrical. I personally love finishing the micro bevel or secondary bevel with a file. I, I think it's the best tool to use for finishing your, your micro bevel. Now I know some experts use like a buffing wheel uh, for their edge. Let's just see if I can get it. You might be able to get a good uh, look at it. Yeah, you can see it. You can see it. You see a little reflection at the very edge? That is the bevel. And when it's really small and you can barely see it, I guess they call it the micro bevel. I, I guess this would be in between because I can see the whole thing. So you can finish it with uh, a strop. You can finish it with, uh, let's see if we get a good look of it. You see that? Right in the middle. You can see it all the way through. I, I, that barely took any time. I mean, I did not focus too hard on this. I didn't I didn't try my hardest. I just did a dumb person demonstration. If I can do this, you can do this. Okay? There's a little you see up top? It's a little um rough. I could fix that with something. Maybe I would I would try to use the uh file a little better. So there's still a little burr. I feel a little burr right right here. Um, yeah, on this side, actually, let's keep going just to, just to make it perfect or close to perfect. Whoops. All right, let's finish this up. You hear that? I'm missing. It's skipping. Let's keep going back and forth. Now, I'm, I'm making it a little too steep now, but it doesn't really matter because this is for splitting. This uh, edge is not going to have to worry about um, being the sharpest it possibly can. That's not my... That's not my worry. My worry is just to make it as strong as it can be. Alright. Oh yeah.